thank you my lovely viewers today is another beautiful day and it's two o'clock in ghana i think in three o'clock in nigeria ah. and we are here with our brother kwame nitutu and today episode we are coming to discuss the year of return uh, many people have uh, heard of year of return year of return year of return when our president nana Ado, Dankwa Akufo Ado, uh, officially launched it uh, last year september 2018 at uh, washington dc many of them have been thinking of it here they have heard of it and they wanted to know what is the year of return the meaning of it so here yeah, with my brother, uh, as I earlier mentioned, Kwame Tito. So we need a platform to our brother, Mr. Kwame Tito, to brief us what is the year of return mean? For me, the year of return is a very significant one. First of all, I just want to give a shout out to President Abdul Abdo. No. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful concept to launch the year of return. So the president of Ghana certainly deserves to be respected for that. For me, coming from the diaspora, uh, returning to Ghana, I came here in 2017. Um, and I came because I needed to fill that void that was in me. My African spirit needed to be nourished. I was thirsty for my African culture. And so coming to Ghana was a very important step in my life. And seeing the year of return unfold has brought so much up for me. And what I would say, what it means to me is, is restoring myself to who I was prior to the European invasion of Africa. Because when you ask the question, return to what? Return to who? You can't just say the year of return without, because the indication is we're going back to something that was already present. That's the indication of ret returning to something. So what are we returning to? So for me, I look back on our history, our great history as African people, all the way back to ancient Kempen, in the time of Moses, even beyond that. And, um, and we had great civilizations. We had great African kingdoms that were very wealthy, very prosperous, and very functional at that time. We had a spiritual practice that was not Christianity. We had wealth. We had, we had, we had super intelligence. Some of the greatest minds of all time came from that time. A gentleman, the first doctor, the first astronomers, the first sailors came from that time. And so when I talk about the year of return, that's what comes up for me. What, what comes up for me is returning, restoring myself to the, to the level of greatness that African people truly are. And so the question becomes, who are we? What are we? And so for me, we are great African kings and queens. That's what we are. That's what we are. And we come from a land rich in resources, a land rich in minerals and wealth. And there's so much pride for me associated with my Africanness. And so the year return for me means restoring myself to the level of pride and self-respect and dignity that African people should always carry because our history is so rich. Our history is not 400 years. Our history is 400,000 years. Wow. Wow. So if we go back to our history and look at who we are, I remember before the European invasion, there was a man named Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa was from Ghana, actually West Africa. There wasn't no Ghana back then, it was just West Africa. Now, which, which, which country is that? Mansa Musa, West Africa, Ghana is now called Ghana, is known today as the richest man of all times. Wow. The richest man of all times, in the history of the world, the richest man of all times was a man named, an African man named Mansa Musa, who traveled from West Africa to Southern Europe. Wait, wait. He was the richest man in the world. Of all times in the world. Wow. An African man. The richest man in the world of all times. History is written. If you look his name up, it'll show, it'll still say, in the history books, Mansa Musi traveled to, to Southern Europe with 300,000 people, 60,000 people carrying gold staffs. He brought so much gold to Europe 
that the Europeans wondered where he got such great wealth. And that's what inspired the Europeans to come to Africa. One man, so much wealth. This is what I'm talking about returning to. We're talking about the year of return. Let's return to being the richest people on the planet. Let's return to being the brightest minds of all times. Let's return to the greatness that we are. And so what comes up for me is a healing. A healing that we need to have. We need to establish a healing for ourselves because we're currently not thinking correctly. We don't value ourselves the way we should. We don't make decisions that take care of us like we should. One of the things that breaks my heart about being in Ghana, as much as I love being in Ghana, I see so much reverence paid to the European colonizers in Ghana. We have statues of Queen Elizabeth in Ghana, who's not been a friend of the Ghanaian people. The British weren't our friends. They colonized and terrorized us for 400 years. So why are we still patronizing the British? Why are we still patronizing the Portuguese, the European colonizers that came here? We need to take more time to love ourselves. And so for me, the year of return is about loving myself enough to embrace myself, my true African culture, my true African history, to come back to Ghana. You know, um, one of the chiefs, Dr. Obukesi, Nana Obukesi, a Memphis the seventh, Paramount chief of a Sabu traditional area has offered 5,000 acres of land for any African that wants to repatriate and come back to Ghana. What a wonderful gesture that is. What a wonderful, wonderful, generous offer that is for someone like me to come and to be able to receive a plot of land. And I can be, I can own land in Ghana. Sure, sure. Yeah. I'll, 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 Mr. Kwame, don't even go there now. You have uh, another day, another time when we discuss about the free land for this uh, our African industrial. Correct. So, I just wanted to get the insight of uh, the, the meaning of the year of return. I think you have done marvelously well, and uh, I, I love that it, it's time we Africans have to be one, yeah. as one people, mm. to support ourselves, to push and uh, follow what we blacks have. Yeah. That's what I think, and I think you have deliberate and you have explained uh, the year of return to my but I know our viewers, our viewers too have really learned something from today. I've really let enjoyed. Me, let me give you one more thing. We're not black. We're African. Black is what the colonizers called us to separate us from our African culture. We begin to call ourselves black. We're not black. We're all Africans. That's who we are. And every time we identify ourselves anything other than African, we separate ourselves from our culture as African people. So I want to just make that one big distinction. And lastly, economically, I spend my money with African people. I buy clothes made in Ghana. <laughs> I don't want to wear European clothes and let my money go to Europe. I don't want to buy products from Europe. I want to buy products from Africa. We're returning to respiring, restoring ourselves to our brotherhood support of one another. We shop, we patronize our own businesses. We spend our money with one another. One of the things I love about Ghana is the culture. When people share food in Ghana, you sit at the table, and people say you're invited. Yes. No yes. one can sit at the table and not eat in Ghana. If you sit at the table, you're going to get invited to eat. Sure. So that's what I want to leave with. You know, the, the beautiful culture of this land, the beautiful richness, the history, the most humane people I've ever met. So maybe the year of return is the return to humanity. Because that's what you're going to find in Ghana. I love Ghana. Wow, wonderful. Wonderful. It's mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, we have made the English version of this interview now. Kakra, Ms. Makanto, has seen our young brother, Kwame, in the two. And watch him the year of return. And the Yatsi Debri, who news, who was TV, who was TV, the year of return. Watch him there. Oh, yeah. In Africa, for now. The condom, or fame, domina, are the Oko Bob, Oko stay, uh, Bacada, Obi Mando, and uh, foreign Western world, ah, Oko Bob, or Watsna. I abandoned Yan there on last year, September 2018, or officially or lunch there, at least, Yan Africa for now, or for now, or put a woba back to their roots, no best established work, a queen yard the whole for this year 20. 19. You see, now I pray it's useful. Now, Shafwa, what's the year of return? 